23rd so a little more than 10 days 11 days he allowed only five batters to get on base he got 58 out of 63 I mean he was totally unbeatable why wouldn't you sign to five batters uh, yeah they did uh, right away five batters five batters his earned run average is close to the record it's 1.7 <laughs> And the lowest for a left-hander in the modern era from 1920 to date, the great Carl Hubble was 1-6, so he's something. And so is Jim Rice and George Brett and Ted Simmons. Rice was aboard what looked like a double play ball kicked by Mike Schmidt in the first inning. And he popped it foul out of play on one. They weren't going to wait. First pitch by Hammaker. He went to work on it. There's no sense trying to get a base on balls. Rice doesn't mess around anyway, but as you see, Monty Irvin. Another great name out of the past. Rice is a killer on the road. 15 of his 22 home runs have been hit on the road. He has a mere 631 slugging percentage when he has a suitcase in his hand. Rice. Oh, and two. One and two. That was the classic example of the ball player not showing up the umpire. He didn't like that second call strike, but he kept looking towards center field and made his speech. He was staying a lot of games that way. And he probably hammers it to left. Somebody was pouring milk. It was just a white blur from home plate to left field. It never got up. It never got down. It just went straight out. And look at that American League bench. They're tired of hearing about losing 19 out of 20. Well, they're leading three to one. And the batter now is George Brent. He had a scoring fly ball in the first inning. That left field wall is nine feet ten inches. So it was just a low line drive that landed right there in the picnic area. I always remember a home run hit here in the 59 World Series. Al Smith was standing there and somebody knocked a big bucket of beer and it went on his head. Remember? That's right. He got the beer shampoo. <laughs> <laughs> the rains did not have any rain. There's a drive to center, but Dawson has to get it by him on the wall. Brad is going for soft spots there are no breathers here you are wading through rice and bread and sim and now you get Winfield <laughs> that's why they're here I tell you well Winfield hooked a double in the left field corner in the second inning remember and came around to score on the fly ball by Robin Young 
You know, Winfield was born on a very historic day in baseball history, just to link the past with the present. His birthday is October the 3rd, 1951. That was the day Bobby Thompson hit the home run off Ralph Branca to give the Giants the National League pennant over the Brooklyn Dodgers. And Dave Winfield was born that day. Seems like day before yesterday. Yeah, and how? That's why the game was being delayed. The bullpen's out here in Comiskey Park, way out in the outfield. And the players have to wait on the sidelines. The Leon Virus is okay. You can go on across. All right, big Winfield trying to pick up Brett. The infield is halfway, and the American League is leading three to one as George comes down the line under the guise of Joe Aldebelli. And a big chopper up the middle makes it four to one American League. They didn't waste any time on Hamaker. They just went to work. First pitches, they went to whacking. And Winfield drives it in. And he's a base stealing threat. He wasn't talking about baseball, but Winston Churchill once said the price of greatness is responsibility. And taking the responsibility full in their charge, Rice homers, Brett triples, Winfield singles, and the great ones have given the American League the four to one lead. And here is Manny Trio. Four runs, five hits for the American League. One run, no hits for the National League. Line drive, base hit into left field. Winfield will stop at second on a single by Manny Trio. And the American League is after the National. Joe Altabelli wants to make sure Winfield is okay. Doug DeSensees is coming out of the American League dugout. Winfield hit the bag oddly at second, and Alabelli gestured out there, and Winfield said, no, I'm okay. And here is Doug DeSensees of the California Angels. Take a look at the way he hits it, Joe. He had ideas about going to third, and instead of looking at the bag, he was watching the reins in left field, and then when he put the brakes on, he needed those radial shoes and get a little grip with some studs. He slipped, but he's all right, and we're going to have a pinch hitter. See him looking at the outfield. He's not once took a look at the bag, and when he sees he can't get the third, whoops, I better make me a U-turn here. So Doug DeSensei is sent up there by Harvey Keene to hit for Dave Steve. DeSensei was third in the MVP voting last year to Robin Young and Eddie Murray, and he has five numbers this year. He has 15 home runs, a 300 batting average. The only American leaguer up there with those numbers. Oh, and one. Twice in the month of August last year, the Sensei's hit three home runs in a game. He wound up with 30. So he's got a lot of sock. Hit that dramatic home run in one of our Saturday games of the week in Detroit. And Sconyers tied it up in the ninth, and he wanted an extra innings. He's up there now with Winfield at second, trio at first, one out, four to one American League. A high fly ball in the right center. Dawson and Murphy, and Dawson is the captain out there and makes the catch. So DeSense is a fly ball to shallow center. Two down, and Rod Carew coming up. You talk about numbers, and we all know Carew is a good hitter. Carew has 808 multiple hit games. All right. You round off a season to 160 games. That means for five seasons, every game he got two or more hits for the five only, years. The only other story I love better is the one you figured out on Reggie Jackson, remember? Yeah, but I can identify with the Reggie Jackson, but the only guy I can identify with that is Superman. <laughs> Schmidt 
couldn't get anything on the throw. It wasn't handled at second base. You can see the hesitation. If he the hell that ball, he's out, but the ball is laying on the ground. You can see it. And so everybody's safe. And not only is the American League just whacking the baseball, they're really running the base as well. Throw, I think, might have had him. He was the umpire at second base, ready to call him out. Well, now they're going to walk Robin Yount. And that'll load up the bases. you got to tell it again. You know, the Reggie Jackson, the other side. Oh, well, we were doing that game in Detroit. You said he struck out 2,100 and... 26 times I said uh, making the 500 times at bat one season he won four years without hitting the ball <laughs> and he made the all-star team one year hitting less than 200 <laughs> and speaking of multiple hit games Peru's got another one tonight it doesn't even count and Jim Rice beaming in the dugout he started it all with a home run and Freddie Lynn will be the batter Robin Yount is at first Rod Carew is at second and Manny Trio is at third Freddie Lynn walked and struck out. For Freddie Lynn, and there's Jim Rice, who led it off with a home run on deck. Only once has Lynn ever managed to play 150 games in a season. It's been his big trouble. Side of a coin, Eddie Murray, whom we'll see later, has never played under 150 games. So the American League, one in the first, one in the second, and three in the third. They have pushed Atley Hamaker around, and it is five to one American. One ball, one strike. Close-up of Hammaker. If you're wondering what that button is, that's that famous Croy the candlestick. If you stay for an extra inning game, you get awarded this, this medal, I guess you'd call it, because it does get cold in Candlestick Park. There you see it. And Candlestick Park, the home of next year's All-Star game. One and two, the count to Freddie Lynn. Surprisingly, has really been struggling with men in scoring position, and he's got the bases loaded. He's hitting less than 200 with men in scoring position. He out at first, Carew at second, Trio at third, two out. He knows he touched it off. He's watching it. The American League is a bit upset, man. What an inning. Seven runs in the third inning. And look at Fred Lynn as he has just knocked in four. We'll be back with more. 